I built this setup around two months ago, and over that time, it has got so untidy. I've got random things on my desk, my bed is just so untidy, and it is all just cluttered. So today, I decided to fully deep clean this setup. So the first thing I decided to do was make my bed. I always forget to make it, or I just don't have time. So today, I just decided I'll make it. It makes the room look so much tidier. So the next thing I decided to do was take every single thing off the desk, ready for me to clean it. And this was just so I could polish the actual desk. If you don't polish your desk regularly, it's going to get so dusty. And that's what I saw with mine. There was a lot of dust there. Even though I've only had it for a few months and I had a mouse pad on it, it was definitely a lot dirtier than I thought it would be. And especially when I've got a white desk, you want to keep it as clean as possible. So just polishing it quickly definitely helped a lot. It got a lot shinier and it just looks cleaner overall. So then I also decided while I had the polish out, I'd do my monitor as well. I've not cleaned this monitor once because I recently got it. And then the next thing I did was I decided I needed to clean my PC. When I clean my PC, I don't do it thoroughly enough. And you'll see that in a minute. But basically all I do is I'll polish like the glass bit. And then there's also this front panel here, which gets very dusty. It is actually disgusting. It's because it's obviously the fans are right there. And if I don't clean it regularly, it does get like that. It is vile. So what I did was I cleaned that. I literally just used some kitchen roll and just wiped the dust off and it worked quite well. And this is the inside of my PC. I've had it for about two years. I don't think I've cleaned it properly once. It is so dusty, so I need to clean that soon. I never bothered, but I definitely need to. And then to finish off cleaning the PC, I literally just polished like the top bit because there was a bit of dust on it just to make it look a bit better. And then what I did next was I put my mouse pad back on. I decided to switch it out just because this one's a bit higher quality than my other one. However, it is a lot dirtier, but I still think it looks pretty good. And then I obviously put on my keyboard and my mouse and my headset. And then I decided to do the cable management. Now, I didn't actually show this. All I did was use some Velcro ties and just tidied it up. And then I've been so excited for this. What I did was I set up my new microphone from Myono. They actually sent this out. It's the PD200X. And they sent out the one in white, which goes perfectly with my setup. It's a dynamic microphone with RGB, a tap to mute button, a knob for the volume of your headset and also the gain. It's got XLR and USB-C connection. And it also comes with a really nice windscreen and a shock mount. The one they sent out to me also came with a boom arm, which is definitely very useful because it matches the microphone itself being white. And if if you are wondering how this thing sounds, I've been using it to voice over this video itself. In my opinion, it sounds perfect, especially for the price. So what I did was I set it up. It was actually really easy to set up. You just connect the microphone to the boom arm itself and obviously clamp the boom arm. And as you can see, it looks so clean, especially with my white desk and stuff. It's really good. Also, the USB cable it comes with is so good. It's genuinely the longest cable I've ever seen in my life which is perfect for a microphone because I've routed the cable across the boom arm, which you definitely need a long cable for that. And yeah, as you can see, this microphone looks really, really clean. The RGB on it is perfect. It's not too much, but it also adds a lot to the microphone itself. It's got RGB to show you whether you're on mute or unmuted. And then you tap that knob there and the blue means you're changing the actual headset gain. And then the green means you're changing the actual microphone gain. And then there's a button on the bottom to change the RGB. This button's a tiny bit annoying because it's actually quite loud when you click it. However, it comes with this software here, which is also amazing. Because one issue I've had with microphones in the past is with gain, especially if it's a knob, you can't really see how much you're actually on. However, with, with this software here, you can see exactly what the gain's on so you don't accidentally change it over and over. And then finally, in the software, you can also change the brightness of the RGB and also the color itself, which is a really good thing, again, because I said the button's quite hard to click for me so i can just change it through the software and it's a lot better and finally i set up some of my fake plants here they just make the setup look a bit better and then i decided i wanted to change the lighting fully because i've had this lighting for a few weeks now and i wanted it to look fresh and this is what i went with it changes the entire setup when i've got it lit up like this and if you are wondering these lights are all from govi they cost literally like under 50 pounds for me to buy which is really good 